in the Power Dodge Blue Corner. He's 3-3 three three as an amateur, 28 years old, and 61 inches tall. He weighed in at 209 pounds, fighting out of Jeff Willis Jiu-Jitsu in Regina. Please welcome Hard Rock fighter, Derek the Lion Parker! And in the Boston Pizza Red Corner is his amateur Dave Lion, our referee in charge of the action for the entirety of the event tonight. And uh, we're set to get underway with Hard Knock 16 from the Spectra Place in Esteban, Saskatchewan. Underway quickly, both fighters come out to the center of the cage. Felix throws a quick kick. He's in the black trunks, Parker in the gray. Yeah, Felix, uh, Felix Menes came out with a little bit of a uh, on an orthodox stance, uh, and now he's switched back to orthodox, and you can see right away that uh, he's going to lose his kicks. Throwing three kicks now, two of them have connected, one missed. Parker missed earlier with the spinning back fist. Yeah, the one thing I see is Menes is really telegraphing as he's coming in. Parker's been around for a while. You can see he's going to start to tie that, so we got to watch out. Uh, Again, trying to take their measure. Tried to Superman punch Dick Parker, and Minas manages to get out of the way. Again, a nice solid leg kick. Uh, those, those are what we call training stoppers. What ends up happening is big marks on the leg and a big spinning back fist there. Yeah, tried to time the back fist with Parker. He just missed. Jimenez landing some big body shots, a nice takedown there, and he finds himself in a half guard. Parker scrambles back to the full guard now, and we'll see how their ground game goes after some nice early striking there from Jimenez and some backup defense coming from Parker. If you look at the guard uh, from Derek Parker, he's actually got it open and he's putting pressure down on Jimenez's legs. That's designed to take away the power base there and keep him in the guard. Uh, again, a jiu-jitsu fighter. Still on top, trying to work. Parker doing a nice job of defensing. Probably landed with better strikes to this point, although Jimenez comes over the top with a couple of punches. Nice sweep there from Parker. Ends up in a full mount. Jimenez is going to be in trouble if he can't get out of that. Quickly wraps up Parker, and now he's going to try and work back into a better position. Try to sweep with his own, but was unsuccessful. And those sweeps are a staple of jiu-jitsu. If you look at the great jiu-jitsu measures of all time, they always had an excellent they might get taken down by those better wrestlers, but uh, that sweep is there, and then once they're in that top position, they know how to stay there. Jimenez just about got Parker out of there, but Parker manages to scramble and land back back in the mound. Jimenez doing a good job, though, defending from the bottom, has not allowed many strikes, despite being in such a bad position, although Parker does get one through there. Lands another one now as he's got Jimenez's arm trapped. Jimenez giving up his back, Parker flipping over. We'll see if he can work the choke there. Looks like he's got a guillotine choke, or a rear naked choke locked in. We'll see if Jimenez taps. So far, no good for Jeff Parker in there. And we'll see if Jimenez can get out. Not sure how deep that choke is. Can't see from here whether or not it's fully under the chin, but Parker softens Menez up. That's the end of the first round as uh, Derek Parker ends the round in a dominant position on the back and trying the choke. Some early striking made up for with a solid ground game from Derek Parker. In regards to the rear naked choke, I don't know if Jimenez was ever in danger. It did look like he had his chin down the whole time, which is uh, the first and foremost offense there. Uh, the problem with, uh, with 
keeping your chin down, it does do a lot of damage to your, to your jaw, and it ends up uh, being one of those distractors. One of the things that you can see, though, uh, if you look on the left leg, he's got his Yeah, here we go oh, for the 100 times. Hand grenade pins yeah, every line. Throw him up and let some shine going out of my fucking mind. Throw him out his leg right now. And now we've got the two contrasting styles between the fighters right now. One is in, one is standing. And it looks like Parker was going to take the end of the game. Throw him to get up. So, uh, maybe someone pour it in. They get a dirt dance floor again. Say your prayers and stop it out when they bring that chorus in. I bleed it out, take it deeper just to throw it away. there clear <laughs> it seems as though he's coaching Jimenez in there commenting on every move Jimenez makes but uh, so far it looked like uh, Parker was had round one we'll see how round two shapes up uh, a little bit of a flurry of action here and now some knees again with the amateur rules you cannot knee to the face at any time and right to the mount again goes Derek Parker. Nice groundwork from Parker there he's got him in the mount he's got him up against the cage and he's got lots of time to work with last time he got into the mount with about a minute remaining in the first round this time significantly more time remaining as he looks uh, I believe he's trying to secure a choke from the top there he's laying his forearm down on Jimenez's neck trying to grab his arm from the other side now, but so far unsuccessful yeah what he's trying to do there is he's not actually trying to choke him out remember what i said earlier regarding the oxygen and it, it did look like Derek parker put that mouth guard back in just enough time to smack him in the mouth he he did put jimenez's mouthpiece back in for him and it's a good thing he did as he has rained down punches since Hammer fist punches. Again, no elbows allowed to the head. So punches are all you're gonna see in this position, but he's got Jimenez in a bad way here. And it could just be a matter of time before Elvis steps in. Derek looking up, trying to ask the referee to step in and asking if he needs to keep punching Felix in the face because this has been pretty one-sided for the last 45 seconds. The problem is, is Felix is intelligently defending. If you look at that, he used his feet off the cage. He was blocking some of those, uh, some of those punches. So yes, he was taking a lot of damage, but the purpose of the referee is when they stop intelligently defending, that's when they step in. Blood now coming from the face of Jimenez and continuing to strike. Parker feeling bad about punching him. That fight is now over. Derek Parker, your winner, as Felix Jimenez not able to defend himself enough for the referee to continue. Derek Parker did not look happy about having to keep fighting, but he is our first victor of the night. He comes away with a win in round two. Felix Jimenez puts on a good show for an amateur debut, but could use a little more work on his ground game as the hip escapes weren't there when he was in the fourth round.
guys. A really good fight. The winner by TKO due to ref stoppage due to strikes at two minutes and 25 seconds in the second round. In the blue corner, Garrett Parker! Good job, guys. David. Derek. Derek, so the lion. So he used to play pro hockey as an enforcer. I was told you had 503 penalty minutes. How do you think that helped your win tonight? Uh, definitely not a fight for a month. Uh, so I first time I'm going to war, I guess, and uh, kind of like stuff. Well, you definitely went to war tonight. And uh, you haven't fought since 2008. What got you back in the cage? Uh, in the ring and uh, they put me inside it for a while and it's ended up taking us off. And uh, who do we have to thank for being made this possible tonight? And I think I'm from Orange Weekend. Uh, I feel happy and I got to rock and I've been training up until uh, two weeks ago. I got hooked up with my old uh, team with uh, Jeff Rodgers' chair and all the colleagues here and uh, that's how I got lucky. was here who uh, went to my back to the last week's and trained along with them and uh, got big start. So uh, I'm more confident against him to sit around. Let's hear it again for your winner, 